Hello and welcome to Studio 3's art sessions with me, Connor. Um, today our artist in focus is Barbara Hempworth, the sculptor, and we will be attempting to make one of her sculptures. Here is an example of said sculpture. We will be using cardboard tubes, thick string, tin foil, newspaper, PVA glue, water, paint, and get a mixing bowl ready and something to put it on. We'll be doing it on two levels. So level one, the first level, is for everybody. Everyone can get involved. Um, level two is slightly harder, so you might need an adult. Um, or if you're really great and fantastic, then just go for it. Okay, great, let's start. So first, we're gonna grab our cardboard tubes. And everything else can go to the side for now. Just place this down next to me. Okay. So, we have our cardboard tubes. These can be toilet roll tubes, these can be cling film tubes, anything cylindrical with a hole through it and made of cardboard. So once we have our tubes, we are then going to get our string and feed our string through the cardboard tubes. So there's one. There's two, try and be a bit more dexterous than me, there's three, four, Five, and six. Okay, so I'm gonna go for six. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with the shape it gives me. If I stand up, this is the shape it's given me. So if I tie it at the end here, Then we have a full circuit. I'll just try and make that nice and tight with the string. Okay, great. So we have our shape, we have our string connected. So this is what we have. Once we have this shape here, we're going to get our tin foil. But just quickly, we'll take a little look back at the image. Okay, let's see what we're going for. And what you want to do with the tin foil, take off sheets. Rip off large sheets of it. 
Okay, so just get some. And tear it off. And you want to make quite a few. Okay, great. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten sheets of tin foil. And what you want to do, and this might be easier if I stand, is get your tin foil. and wrap it round, okay, so it's nice and strong. On a side note, if this string is annoying you at the minute, you can just cut it off, but what I'm going to do at the end is hang it. But if you don't want to hang it, then just go ahead and cut that off, if it is bothering you. So get another piece. Cover it round. And the structure will get stronger and stronger as you go around. You need to catch up with this bit, just go ahead and pause the video. Or if you're doing it as quick as me, that's great. Okay. Okay, so that's getting nice and strong now. If you haven't cut off your string, make sure the tin foil doesn't interrupt the string itself. Okay, so that's looking nice and strong for me now. Okay, great. So, for level one, That is your sculpture completed for Barbara Hempworth. Now you can hang it in your gallery space. It looks amazing. 
But now we'll go on to level two. Okay. So this is our structure. This is what we have. Everything's nice and strong. So now we've put this to one side and we will get our newspaper. Our newspaper. And our PVA. Our water. And our mixing bowl. And I'll take the camera down here so we can see the desk. We are going to get our PVA, pour it all in to the mixing bowl, make sure that all comes through. So that's great, that's all, that's all our PVA. We're going to get our water, we're going to put a bit in there, not too much. That should be more than enough. And you just want to mix that in until it all becomes one. So the PVA and the water become the same. liquid okay that's pretty good it's pretty good it's all the same so I'm just gonna put this to one side now and I'm going to get my newspaper I want to take a few sheets of my newspaper and I want to tear big lengths of it big chunks big portions of it off okay so I'm just ripping just ripping up the newspaper bit by bit And I'm probably going to do this with two or three pages. Terrible that. Okay, one more page. I'll take a couple of pages. Okay, great, so we have a nice big pile of ripped up paper. That's fantastic. We'll put that to the side. 
I'm going to put something down so it doesn't get too messy. I will bring back in my PVA and have my newspaper to the side. And this is when we're going to bring our sculpture back in. Okay, so here it is. And what we're going to do, trying to get the best angle for this, is we're going to cover the newspaper, and you will get it will get sticky, it will get a bit messy. Cover the newspaper in the PVA and water, and then wrap it round your tin foil structure. Okay. So PVA Make sure it's nice and covered and go round your structure and do this until the whole surface is covered until you can't see any more tin foil. If it gets a little bit too sticky, you can bring some tissue in and just dab it slightly. So newspaper, cover, and then around. Okay, so I've done a small section here. I will bring the camera up so everybody can see. Here I am. I've done a small section here, but what you want to do is cover the entire structure so there is no more metal and then what you want to do when this is covered in your newspaper, your PVA water newspaper mix, is you want to let it dry somewhere. And this is why we have this, so it can hang in the middle of the room getting dry and it won't leak on things. So it gets complete coverage. Or if not, you can just lean it up against something. I'm sure it'd be fine. Let's just pop that down again, take the PVA off the desk, I'll take this off the desk, but once everything is dry, Once everything is dry on your sculpture, you are then able to paint it. So that's when you get your paint. Get your paint and your paintbrush and go ahead and paint. Here's a small idea of what it should look like. I'm just painting the tin foil section for an example. But 
once it has completely dry and you paint the newspaper try not to get that messy here's an example it's on the tin foil but of course it will be on the newspaper when it's done you'll have a beautifully coloured sculpture okay covered in mess now but that's all good okay I hope you enjoyed the Barbara Hempworth um, art lesson uh, with Studio 3 and send in your pictures what you've done it'll be very interesting to see how everyone's else how everyone else is turned out um, but thank you <laughs>